Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome to Tech Tips. Today we are going to visit the libraries page on the Alpine Shire website. This page is the place to go to find out all the latest information about the Alpine Shire libraries. To start, we are going to type Alpine Shire Council into Google. Excellent. The top result we have is the link we want to click. Lovely. We have this beautiful picture right in the middle here and we've got a lovely looking search bar asking how can we help today. Well, today we are going to be learning about libraries. Plug that into the search bar, hit enter or if you're working from an iPad you can touch the magnifying glass icon. Here are our search results. The second one down is the entry we are after. Click on to that. Now this is the home page for the Alpine Shire Libraries and it is where you can find all the latest information about our services. At the top here we have a notification regarding the temporary closures of libraries. I'm going to scroll past that. Here you'll see a list of our phone numbers. If you're on a mobile device you can hold down the phone number and it will prompt you to call. The phone at each location is just a standard phone line, so do not try to do a video call or send us a message. And we are a friendly bunch, so just give us a buzz. We have a staff member at each location most days of the week. Okay, let's get out of that now. Below this is a list of online resources you can access with your library membership. This includes Canopy, a video library service, BorrowBox, a fabulous ebook and e audiobook platform. Download the app onto your phone and you can listen or read away. RB Digital Magazines, I personally love RB Digital Magazines. There are some really great titles available. And finally, Storybox Library, which will keep your younger kids entertained with some brilliant stories. Also on this page, we have our frequently asked questions. Prior to giving us a call, you can always have a look at this section and perhaps save yourself the call. Now, back up to the top. On the top right, we have our call to action buttons. They are click and collect plus the library catalogue. Now, I won't be taking you through the library catalogue today, but feel free to check it out. The library catalogue is how you search for books. You can use it to virtually browse our collection. Let's select click and collect. This opens a nice new tab and takes you to our click and collect information page. Here you will find an overview of our two click and collect services. Our first option is the librarian's choice. You click the, the link to the form and that will take you to a new tab where you can fill out your details including the type of books that you would like to read and this information is sent to your local branch where the staff member chooses titles based on the information you have provided. The other option is the reservations option. You use the library catalogue that I mentioned before to select items currently in your local branch. The staff member at that branch then finds your reservations on your behalf and puts them aside for you. Once again, if you do get stuck, give your local branch a bell and they will sort you out. To collect your items, you will first receive a notification either via text message, email or maybe by a phone call. Once you've received that notification, give your local branch a call um, prior to coming in to tee up a time for collection with the staff member on duty. And that's a nice little summary of the click and collect service we currently have running. I will go into further details in another video, 
But that is all for today. Thanks so much for joining me and happy reading.